At the beginning of the movie travelers from various corners of the country and the world converge on the airport in anticipation of the holiday season, the stage is set for an extraordinary encounter. In this frenetic atmosphere, a young woman, in evident haste, navigates her way through the throngs of people, desperately trying to make it to her flight on time, yet her efforts are ultimately in vain. Our central character, Hadley Sullivan, arrives at the airport belatedly, missing her scheduled flight. Seeking a solution, she approaches the airline counter to inquire about the earliest available flight to London. Here, we learn that Hadley, a student at NYU, is en route to the UK to attend her father's wedding. Fortunately, she secures a seat on the next flight, which is set to depart roughly an hour and a half later, and hastily purchases her ticket. With a recurring tendency to run late for appointments and a knack for her phone's battery to dwindle at inconvenient times, Hadley proceeds to the charging station. It is here that she crosses paths with Oliver Jones, a charismatic young man. Oliver, a statistics student at Yale, is captivated by numerical probabilities and mathematical intricacies. However, he also proves to be remarkably kind and helpful to our protagonist. Fate takes an intriguing turn when it is revealed that Oliver is also bound for London on the same flight as Hadley, returning home from the United States. This serendipitous connection prompts them to share a meal together. Oliver had been reticent about the reason for his return to London. When Hadley noticed a suit among his belongings and assumed it was for a wedding, Oliver deflected the conversation. As their conversation deepens, a palpable chemistry ignites between them, and there's an unmistakable sense of providence at play, weaving their destinies together in a most unusual way. In a serendipitous turn of events, Hadley, who had a business class seat, and Oliver, relegated to economy, find themselves seated together in the premium cabin due to Oliver's broken seatbelt, necessitating his relocation to the only vacant business class seat. As the plane soars through the skies, their acquaintance deepens, and a palpable sense of romance blossoms between them. They share a tender moment, briefly holding hands, and are on the verge of sharing a kiss before circumstances intervene, leaving the subject unspoken and hanging in the air. The following morning, upon the flight's arrival at Heathrow Airport, Hadley and Oliver disembark together, with intentions of staying in touch. However, their divergent nationalities force them into separate immigration lines. Oliver hastily inputs his phone number into Hadley's device, but their burgeoning connection faces an unexpected obstacle as her phone's battery threatens to betray them once again. Hadley, since childhood, harbored fears of mayonnaise, confined spaces, and dental visits. However, a more recent and profound fear eclipsed all others, the dissolution of her parents' marriage. Originally residing in the United States, Hadley's family fragmented when her father, Andrew, accepted a teaching position at Oxford University, specializing in poetry. Initially thrilled by the prospect of pursuing higher education abroad, her dreams crumbled upon discovering that only her father would be making the journey. In due course, Andrew found love anew in England with a woman named Charlotte and decided to marry her. He earnestly wanted his daughter to be a part of this new chapter in his life. Initially, Hadley viewed the invitation as a mere formality, but with time, it became apparent that her father's intentions were sincere, he still cherished his daughter's love and sought her acceptance. Despite their close relationship in Hadley's formative years, the emotional proximity between her and Andrew had waned as they grew physically distant. As time passed, unspoken grievances and a lingering awkwardness crept into their bond. Hadley, in fact, harbored reservations about attending the wedding in London, initially perceiving it as a token gesture from her father. Following their departure from Heathrow Airport, the romantic connection between Hadley and Oliver continues to flourish. Both gradually recognize that they have fallen deeply in love. While Oliver had been waiting for Hadley, his brother Luther had arrived to pick him up, causing a bit of commotion at the location. The authorities didn't allow the brothers to linger at the airport any longer, forcing Oliver to depart only minutes before Hadley's arrival. Hadley embarks on her role as a bridesmaid at her father Andrew's wedding to his new wife. During the gap between the ceremony and reception, she overhears some guests conversing about a memorial event taking place in Peckham, the very neighborhood where Oliver had mentioned he'd be. Although Oliver hadn't disclosed the nature of his trip, Hadley speculates that this might be the event he's attending. She feels a pang of sadness at the thought of him facing his mother's funeral alone. 
Determined to make it back for her father's reception, she heads straight to the memorial in an attempt to find him. Meanwhile, Oliver participates in a unique living memorial for his mother, an event steeped in Shakespearean themes that includes eulogies delivered through poetry, monologues, and interpretive dance. The connection between Hadley's father, a Shakespeare professor, and Oliver's family explains how they have mutual friends in such a sprawling city as London. Oliver visibly grapples with grief over his mother, who has cancer and has opted not to pursue treatment. Oliver, who had been residing in the United States for his studies, desperately wanted his mother to pursue medical treatment once more. His trust in statistics led him to believe that with treatment, Tessa could potentially extend her life by several months or even a couple of years. However, Tessa held a different perspective, having come to terms with the inevitability of her impending death. She opted against enduring the pains of chemotherapy once again. Instead, she yearned for a memorial gathering with her cherished friends and relatives, a day of joy before her eventual passing. This divergence of views between Oliver and his mother created some tension, but he mostly kept his feelings bottled up, only expressing them on the day of the memorial. By the end of the memorial, Oliver appears to come to terms with his mother's decision, and his attention shifts to his other concern, the budding love between him and Hadley. When Hadley arrives at the memorial, she and Oliver engage in a heated argument regarding his lack of honesty about the event. He argues that he didn't want to burden a stranger he just met with the weight of his mother's illness, a fair point. Their dispute extends to their emotions, with Oliver's inclination towards statistics and occasional sudden moves, like attempting a first kiss, rather than opening up emotionally. In frustration, Hadley departs, proclaiming her visit a mistake and leaving without obtaining Oliver's contact information. Unbeknownst to her, she accidentally leaves her bag behind. Lost in London with a dead phone battery, Hadley eventually encounters a kind stranger who allows her to use their phone to call her father. Andrew drops everything in his busy schedule to locate and retrieve Hadley when she loses her way, his actions underscore just how deeply she still matters to him. Through her father's brief explanation of their divorce, Hadley gains insight into the intricacies of love and relationships. Unlike many children trapped in loveless marriages, Hadley didn't expect her parents to fall apart. As she dances with Andrew at the reception, her participation is heartfelt, signifying a genuine healing in their relationship. Hadley had initially harbored suspicions, hoping to find her stepmother, Charlotte, to be a villainous character straight out of fictional tales. However, she found herself liking Charlotte Wright from their initial encounter. In the midst of it all, after delivering an emotionally charged eulogy, Oliver stumbles upon an invitation to Hadley's father's wedding reception inside her forgotten bag. His father locates him and imparts a profoundly simple yet crucial piece of wisdom, if I knew the odds of your mother getting cancer and passing away when I fell in love with her, do you know what I would have done differently? Absolutely nothing. Fueled by this revelation, Oliver joins his family in their van, and they rush to the wedding reception. Upon arriving at the reception, Oliver seeks out Hadley and extends an apology in his characteristically subtle manner. Hadley, touched by his effort, accepts his apology with a heartfelt kiss. She informs him of her decision to spend Christmas with her father in London, to which Oliver responds with statistical musings about couples meeting at airports or because of missed connections. Puzzled, she inquires about his field of study, to which he responds, the statistical probability of love at first sight.